does training multiple muscle groups in a single training session limit the growth potential of another muscle group? Consider competing resources. Well, it might, but it depends. Let's dive into that. Just watch me. hypothesis suggesting that when multiple muscle groups are targeted during the same workout, these muscles may compete for resources, which could influence the overall extent of muscle growth. So let's dive into the scientific considerations behind this interesting theory. The concept behind this theory is fairly simple. While resistance training is known to stimulate muscle growth by targeting specific muscles, a recent study by Kotako and colleagues suggested that when multiple muscle groups are engaged in a single session, the resources necessary for the muscle growth may be distributed more thinly. So to put this in perspective, think of it like managing a budget. If your body has a finite amount of energy, nutrients, and protein building capacity, it may have to allocate these resources across all the muscle groups being worked during that session. Just as an example, like a full body workout. This concept aligns with what we've observed in concurrent training, where strength and endurance training are combined. Research has demonstrated that this combination can result in the interference effect, where endurance training may inhibit some of the muscle growth typically associated with strength training, especially if not programmed properly. While the precise mechanism behind this effect are still under investigation, it's believed that the energy demands and how the body allocates its resources, such as energy, nutrients, and protein synthesis, play a significant role in limiting optimal muscle growth during concurrent training. So let's talk about competition for resources. To optimize any workout, nutrition plays a crucial role and protein is a key factor in this equation. Generally, 25 grams of protein post-workout is sufficient to maximize muscle protein synthesis for most single muscle exercise. However, things take an interesting turn when we train multiple muscle groups in a single session. In this case, the demand for protein might actually be higher to support increased needs for muscle repair and muscle growth processes across all the muscle groups targeted during the workout. A study by McNaughton and colleagues showed that after a full body workout, participants who took 40 grams of protein saw higher protein synthesis rates than those who took only 20 grams. This could indicate that the more muscles you work, the more protein might be needed to keep up with the demand for growth. However, other studies have shown mixed results. For instance, some research indicates that there is no benefit of going over 20 grams, while others, like the recent 2024 paper by Tremelin and colleagues, show that 100 grams of protein after a full body session increase protein synthesis slightly more. That said, science is still figuring out the sweet spot for protein needs when it comes to optimal muscle growth in response to full body resistance training. So you might be wondering, has anybody tested this idea directly? Well, a study by Walker and colleagues compared arm-only training to full body workouts to see if targeting multiple muscle groups would reduce growth in specific areas. They found that muscle growth in the arms was similar between those who trained with arms alone and those who performed full body workouts. However, due to the small sample size and other limitations, the results don't provide definitive answers to this question. In fact, to fully test this hypothesis, researchers would need to conduct long-term studies comparing muscle growth across different training approaches, such as isolating upper body training versus combining upper and lower body exercises in a single session. This would help clarify whether the distribution of resources truly affects muscle growth across multiple muscle groups. A paper by Kataoka and colleagues suggests that there may be one particular scenario where competition for resources might be even more pronounced, and that is when energy availability is low. When you're not consuming enough calories, and in the case of a diet, your body prioritizes essential functions and processes. A recent study by Van Vossel and colleagues found that in people with limited calorie intake, certain muscle groups actually atrophied to reallocate resources for the muscles being actively trained. This could mean that if you're trying to build muscle in multiple muscle groups while in a calorie deficit, the competition effect might be slightly more noticeable. So what does this mean for our workout routines? Well, if this hypothesis holds true, it could mean focusing on specific muscle groups during each training period to allow for more growth in key areas, rather than trying to grow everything all at once, as in the case of a full body training session. 
Now, if you're incorporating full body workouts or any type of a split for that matter, it is essential to make sure that you're getting enough protein and calories to support the muscle groups that you're working. Moreover, if you enjoy full body training and or upper lower body splits, but still want to prioritize certain muscle groups, it could be beneficial to reduce the volume for those stronger or developed muscle groups just down to a maintenance volume and place more emphasis on lagging muscle groups. So to summarize my thoughts, this hypothesis certainly raises many questions for future research. While we know that local processes drive muscle growth, it is still unclear whether there is a competition for resource when multiple muscle groups are targeted in a single session. This could be especially relevant for individuals undertaking fat loss with limited calorie intakes or for those on a low protein diet. So that's it folks. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video informative, make sure that you like this post, subscribe to my channel for more evidence-based content. And if you have any questions about muscle growth and training, feel free to leave me a comment below.